Welcome back guys to another video with Risky and today we're doing some more Minecraft uh, with fans, sort of, kind of, uh, it's a work in progress title because we're kind of stuck still in the situation, like I said, with the internet. Uh, now, uh, where we left off last episode, we were just finishing up the walls and the floor, well shortly after that episode I took a little bit of break, of a break, and left my computer running with Minecraft open because I have to run this in the non server edition of this so of this map so for you guys it would be I'm playing solo but I upload the map to the server every so often uh, just in case you guys wanted to play as well uh, and we'll work with trying to figure out how we do like stuff together pending my ability to do that stuff with the internet now uh, shortly after that a gas spawned and shot me which is odd because I had walls that were completely surrounded a door was in and everything like that so there was no way it could path to me but I guess something uh, one of the fires spread or whatever uh, which wouldn't happen on the server because fire spread is off on the server but unfortunately I have no ability to uh, change that like I don't have permissions to change that, so I, I can't change to creative or anything like that. So I'm kind of just stuck without that. Uh, but I know some stuff is still working, like keep inventory and things like that. So I guess fire spread just never got actually working. Uh, but nonetheless, nevertheless, we are just going to recreate the, or not recreate, but rebuild. Uh, and hopefully we get a good looking floor plan. I do, however, remember the top floor, or the second floor, because I, I, I was working on that in between episodes as well, uh, but I do remember how that looked, and I'm going to probably continue with that one, because that one was really good, I liked that one, uh, whereas the bottom floor, I didn't like that one so much because of the way the, the, the spacing was, and I eventually changed it, uh, or changed the, the spacing, so now it's a 16 by 16 room on the inside. And then it'll it would be the equivalent of an 18 by 18, uh, where the nether rack is, and a 19 by 19 square, where the wood logs are. But because of that, everything burnt down. I took down the glass already, uh, because of moving walls around and whatnot. So we're just gonna hop right into into today's episode, and we're gonna just work on things. I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and drop off any excess items. I have and uh, grab up one of e or a stack of every color wood to uh, start situating so I really liked the what I did with on the first floor with the uh, I started with like three and then I went to the darker one and then branched off of that, uh, the three, and then I do, uh, when it reaches the three there, I would do a, I don't know, wrong, wrong color. Okay square there but in this case it would be just two and then from there or actually better yet I, I'm actually not sure I think a checker pattern would work with this as well would be really nice to do I think I might do two by two checker pattern a two by two checker pattern which would give me a actual check size checkerboard Whew. and boop. oh shame on you I did not want to hit that that was the last thing I wanted to hit so uh yeah But as you can see, I have gotten a lot better with re resending 
or with uh, di redirecting those fireballs, uh, given the fact that I've had to. Because if I didn't get good at it, I would just have never been able to salvage any part of the house that I've ever done. But then again, as you can see, it would kind of help to actually do that. We are going to do this in a four, uh, a four block pattern. So it, it's, or not a four block pattern, but a four color pattern. So I, like I did, much of like I did in the previous season of uh, Minecraft with fans, I did the like changing color palette. So like it decreased or it went from the darkest void to the next darkest and so on and so forth until it reached a the lightest possible thing. And I liked that what I did there. Uh, I also like oh if this was only two blocks shorter, if it was a fourteen by fourteen, this this would work one hundred percent well. But I think I can still make it work with this. Yeah, I can still I can still work with this because then I can do like that. But the next color is that, which would mean that I need like that. So do that where like and then in the middle it would be this large chunk of uh, dark oak and then some spruce and then what that would allow me to do is do spruce Uh, yeah, I like that. So when we cut, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here and then come back uh, when this is done. So, yeah. Okay, guys, welcome back. After that uh, brief break for you, it was an entire day for me, so you can notice my levels have changed quite a bit. I did do an AFK session to fix my pick because it was almost broken, and I also did some armor, but it's been busted up some since then. But... What I will say is that I've done a little bit of pre-planning. Uh, I planned out where the windows are going to go for the the main section of the bottom floor. Uh, I got up a, a, a this is the the premise of the super smelter. Uh, the difference is that this one doesn't take it out for you, uh, so I'll explain that later. But that's just there for me to cook whatever I need to, uh, such as the gold swords because I've been trying to clear out as many of these these nincompoops as I can. Uh, as I go to to make sure that I'm, I'm staying up on it because I kind of am uh, getting a little behind on that. I will say this: I do not. I, I my prior planning for uh, the the outsider or the exterior of uh, of this was not really. I I, I don't know if I, I would call it as as. Uh, pleasing as I thought it was because the inside was just like a mishmash mishmash across this side wall are these two back walls uh, now there's going to be a larger opening because I moved it inward uh, or outward a little bit so that I could clear up as much space as I can oh. of course of course I would uh, not be able to hit that so Stop firing fireballs at me. Ha, gotcha. 
So, uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to just finish up the, the last little bit. I'm going to plan it out, find out what I'm going to do, and then I'm gonna, uh, then we're going to cut to to when this is done. Or I might just finish it up all on camera. You never know. With me, uh, Risky is just never plans anything out. <laughs> right? Uh, so I do know I need one thing from over here, and that, that is actually over here, which is the glass panes uh, for the windows because they are going to be three blocks tall. I don't know why I did that. And I am sticking with the uh, the lighter color al along the windows uh, for certain. I liked, th I liked those when I did those in the last uh, rendition of the house before it all got burnt down. So don't forget that that, was, that happened. So if you, uh, if you think that that is an unfortunate accident and you want to show some love, hit the like button for me. Uh, it does absolutely nothing but show me that you guys are enjoying or you show sympathy for my current situation. Um, and last window. I am not doing windows on the inside uh, as much as I would love to say I, I want to. I don't. I, I just don't think that this uh, ugly red brick would, or uh, ugly red block would be uh, good to look at so I've got two uh, two skinny windows the the two blocks by three and then the other ones are three by three and I figured that that would be a good uh, like position or a good good po these would be good positions for the windows gives you ample like outward viewing uh, as I shake this screen around uh, a little bit it would give you ample outward viewing so it'd be kind of ple pleasing to see out of the house instead of just my ugly wood walls because this is I will say I cannot wait to get this up on the server uh, after this ep or in between each clip because that's just what happens uh, and, and cannot wait to get this up on the, the server because I do not want to lose this again I, however, I don't know uh, whether... Actually, I think I do. I think we go with spruce here. And here. How does that look from out here? Uh, let's actually grab the spruce logs and throw them. Oh, no. I also want to try and do that right here in front of each window. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I don't know how well that's going to work. Or should I do it here instead of... make this a, a full thing like that and like <clears throat> like that oh hold on I gotta remove those because those aren't supposed to be there rack is not supposed to be there. Okay. He, he, he abandoned his mission to blow up the rest of the house uh, because he knew it was a uh, lost cause, right? That, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, that's more like it. And I'll do that on this uh, on this window as well over here, uh, the skinny window. And that's just going to be the the outside. Oh, gotta fix that. 
I don't know why I'm playing without my sound on. I just noticed that I'm not. Which is going to take a bit to fit. Or, well, it won't actually take anything to fix it. Just to have to stop what I'm doing. Spruce. Okay. Is there? There we go. That sounds better. Now I can actually hear when they come up behind me, which would probably help uh, prevent them from destroying the house, right? thing when I was coming back from uh, the the AFK fishing session I found a ghast inside the house I it was before I did any of the, the stuff along the wall obviously but uh, I came back and I walked the, through there and I was like oh god backed up back around the corner so it couldn't see me and couldn't shoot at me and I had to go find out how to get my bow uh, and everything situated so I could shoot it I'm so glad I grabbed more than one stack of this because I needed it seriousness knowing my luck it would be boop and boop that was a lot closer oh those are the pigment dang it I thought that was gas sounds One thing I don't like about working with like dark colored woods, uh, especially like that is done and over with so i don't know what do you guys think of this uh i think it looks great i think uh, a couple of fence posts here and here would uh do a great deal of difference like right down here just fences right there and there uh and then there's that spruce there's the spruce throw some more down there like i'm thinking like oak would be a good color to go right there Oaks, oak fences right there would do a great deal of difference or a great deal of uh, of just like equaling out that but I don't know about that if uh, now I do
do really like the checkered pattern that I had in the last bit, um, which would mean that I do that. So I really like the idea of doing a checkered pattern with these ones. that corner and I'll do that in the same in that corner as well uh, spruce there and there and there and right here so I don't need Time to get out the, the, the bow so I can shoot it. I just have to hope for the best. <laughs> ah. Keep on dodging me, I swear. Most intense battle I've ever had. No! Oh, you. You did it. That's it. my chance to pick up as much of these as I can and swap out to the bow. <laughs> Got him! Okay. Oh god, there's another one that wasn't there. Nope, I just saw... Yeah, I just saw that. Great, now I gotta do a little bit of a cleanup. But yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I just need real fast to figure out. I think oak is gonna be good right here, like I said. Just a good chunk of oak. And that would be enough alter or alternative options. I think that that, yeah, I, I, I like that. And then we'll do the same for with that corner in, in all of the other corners. Uh, and then we'll do, we'll, when we come back, we'll finish and we'll work on the door. Because uh, I do know that it is going to be a, a, a much larger door. I think it's going to be like a four by, like four by three or four by four. Uh, just open air door. It, it won't even like ha have a doorway. Or it'll just be a doorway, sorry. So I will, uh, I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next clip and you guys will see what it looks like after that. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, so what I did was I finished up the last bit, little bit of the first floor and we'll start furnishing the place later. Uh, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and call uh, the first floor done and we're gonna work our way up to the second floor. So we're gonna do the walls and uh, everything in the next episode. Just wanted to show you the that this is what we what I decided I was going to go with for the uh, floor plan. So we've got the this uh, 
radiant pattern going from the corners towards the middle of the room. And uh, this is the one I did the last time I did this room and thought it was really cool, so I, I thought I'd do it again. And uh, so we're just going to finish up the, this episode. So uh, if you guys enjoyed, please do remember to smash that like button. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until the next time, guys, don't forget to stay risky. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.